<laughs> Again, it's me. We're back. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, basically, guys, the encouragement challenge is starting up this week. And what you're going to do is you're going to film a video of yourself or post a shout out about someone that you love. Say a couple things you appreciate about them and make sure you just you just put a smile on their face. Show them some encouragement. Place courage into them. Because uh, nothing is going to bless someone quite like some encouragement from you. Uh, What's up, everybody? Welcome to Crew TV episode four. That totally defeats the purpose of the mask when you do that, but. Oh, quick, yeah. tell me a joke. Tell us a joke. Uh, what did the king of the eggs say when somebody dropped his food? What did he say? You gotta be yoking me. Road trip snacks, you know? You gotta come prepared. <laughs> Dude, this is legitimately hard to open. Here we got a saw. This is... <laughs> oh! So make sure... You gotta make sure you're staying hydrated. Yeah. You got the right amount of nutrients in your body. Right. I find the popcorn... It's like a macronutrient. Can't have five your buddies anymore. You realize that every single time anybody asks you what you're thinking, I when you don't know what to accent. say, when you don't know what to say, you just start talking in Texas accents. Okay, just an update. We don't know whether or not we have this no is the clue if house. this is his house. Dude, Tyler. 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 We need you. Okay, by the way, say hi to the vlog. Oh, hi, vlog. Is that his house? Yeah, that's his house. It's Caleb's been, not even home. Been the second biggest lit down in 2020. <laughs> what the heck? Well, that was a bummer. Caleb, we love you. Thanks for, this is an epic start to this video. <sighs> so, that could have went better, I'm gonna be honest. When you burp in these masks, that oh, is not the No, move. dude, it, it, this, is, <laughs> this is brutal. Remember the Alamo, yeah. so. What's up guys? Hey, we're back. We're going to Caleb's house again. Hopefully he is home this time. Yeah! Oh, yeah. The answer. yeah. Congratulations, Caleb. you're the first contestant. Welcome to Quarantine Games. So glad you're here. Stay six we feet away. Playing hangman. Stay, stay away. Stay, right style. there. You have an object, one word, eight okay. letters. Go. Oh, oh. Game winning shot. It's all you, man. Clock is running out. Two O's ends in bell. What what has two O's and ends in a bell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Okay, Joshua. <laughs> well, you know, Isaac, it's, it's kind of like they say, you can't you can't hunt a snapping turtle without risking your fingers. Spreading them's okay. It hurts a little. Nope, don't do that. That's that was rude. <laughs> that yeah. Bless us, O Lord, for these I gave which we are about to receive. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Crew TV week four. Hey, I hope you had an amazing Easter weekend. I know we did with our family. It looked a little bit different than we anticipated, um, but I hope it was special. It was definitely special for us. I wanna encourage you also, if you're not in a crew, we say every single week here at Gateway Students, we refuse to live life alone. That's not a, it's not a cliche saying. It's not something we just throw out there. It's really who we are, it's what we believe. And we truly believe here that life is better in community. And it's not just better, it's how we were created to live. And uh, I think one of the ways that we see that uh, most displayed is really through Jesus, in that he went to the cross so that we could live forever in eternity with him. He died and rose again so that we could live together in relationship. And uh, if that doesn't speak to 
the fact that we were created to do life together, then, uh, then I don't know what does. So I wanna encourage you, get in a crew. There's gonna be a link in the description. Go ahead, fill that out. If you're not in a crew already, fill that out. We would love to plug you into a crew. If you are in a crew, make sure you're there tonight, 7 p.m., every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. We'd love to connect you. But the Bible says in Luke chapter 24, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they had entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that the angels appear to the women and they say this, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee, the son of man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. As we talk about Easter and what this weekend represents, we. We see the love of our Father God who, the Bible says in John 3, 16, loved you and I so much that he sent his Son, his only Son, that whosoever would believe in him would have eternal life, would not perish but have eternal life. You see, he sent his Son, God in the flesh, to this earth to live, to breathe, to walk, to talk. He lived a perfect life and he died the death that you and I deserve, a sinner's death so that we could live the life that only he deserved. Not just so that we could get to heaven, not just so that, uh, that we would be saved from hell, no, so that we could live forever with him. He wanted you, he wanted me, he wanted to be in relationship with us. You see, but Jesus didn't just die for you, he died as you. One of the things that, that, that I think a lot of times that we miss is the fact that God doesn't just forgive us, no, he accepts us. The Bible says that he, he adopted us, that he has adopted us as family. He accepts you, you know. Jesus accepts you. The God of the universe accepts you. Do you accept you? For some, it may kind of depend on the day, but I wanna encourage you, it doesn't depend on the day with God. The way that we relate to God, the way that we, the way that we can approach God, the way that we can talk to God, our relationship with God drastically shifted with Jesus' sacrifice. Have you fully allowed Jesus' sacrifice to shift your relationship with Him? He did this for you, to be in relationship with you. For some watching this, you maybe don't believe in in God. Maybe maybe you've heard about God, but you haven't fully given your life to Him. Today is a perfect day. The Bible says it's as simple as confessing that he is Lord and believing in our heart that God raised him from the dead and we will be saved. You can do that today. In fact, we would love to plug you into a crew and help you do life with other people so that you can grow in your relationship with God. As we continue on this week and as we go into crews, I want us to talk about this sacrifice that shifted everything. This sacrifice that shifted our relationship with God. See, again, this wasn't just about getting us out of hell. It was about bringing us back to God. It was about making a way for us to be in relationship with God once again. That's what this is all about. That God loved you so much, that he wanted you so bad, that he sent his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He wants to do life with you, you know? Game with you. Game with the boys, game with the gals, game with the pals. Are you, are you kidding me? That sounds amazing. You want to dance, you want to sing. Star. I am a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. <laughs> Isaac's going to use that against me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be in a video this is for gonna sure. Be used isn't against it? Us, um, for the rest of our lives, held over our heads. And speaking of cruise, we actually have cruise tonight, this Wednesday, 7 p.m., via Zoom. Be there or be square. It's gonna be awesome. Get connected, RTLLA. That's the stuff that we wanna hear about. Please tell us how your Zoom crew went. We are so excited for you. 